This morning host Philip Schofield bids farewell after break with family, sad to leave Philip Schofield, 60, was enjoying his break so much that he lamented the fact he had to leave. Posting a photo of himself from Copenhagen's famous waterfront, with its rows of brightly colored buildings, he admitted, sad to leave Copenhagen. The This Morning Star, who viewers usually catch alongside co-host Holly Willoughby, added, no question, the friendliest city I've ever visited. Philip was replaced by Andy Peters on the show yesterday as his festive break continued. The presenter's daughters, Ruby and Molly, whom he shares with estranged wife Stephanie Lowe, also posted snaps from Scandinavia to their Instagram pages, hinting that they were enjoying a family reunion on holiday. It wasn't long ago that he and Holly were UK-based together, donning colorful Christmas jumpers in aid of charity, before he jetted off on his secret Scandinavian break. He opted not to say a word about where he was until it was time to leave, when he shared a selfie from Nyhaven Harbor. Almost 13,000 fans hit the like button, while at Franquin21 quipped, now you need to go to Stockholm. Philip will have been enjoying cobbled streets loaded with Christmas markets, some of which don't pack up until well into the new year. The air is filled with the traditional festive drink glug, while tourists can opt to take a boat trip along the picturesque canal. or simply retreat into one of the cozy restaurants and cafes that line the waterfront. Copenhagen is also known for having been home to fairy tale author Hans Christian Andersen, who once lived on the very waterfront Philip had snapped a selfie from. The late author is legendary among kids for writing centuries-old classic stories such as The Little Mermaid, a statue of whom can be seen in the city too. Fortunately, Some This Morning episodes had been pre-recorded to screen over the festive period, meaning fans didn't miss out on too much while Philip was enjoying the sights, sounds and smells of the Scandinavian city. It is believed to be his first time in Copenhagen, as he gets back into the routine of taking breaks abroad following the pandemic. Earlier this year, Philip spent the spring in the French Alps, so he is accustomed to an icy chill and isn't likely to have become overwhelmed by the northerly winds in Denmark. At the time, the ITV host took a ski trip as part of the celebrations for Hollywood actor Luke Evans' birthday.